Good day everyone, I've got this Wallen brand or Whalen brand five shelf storage rack system here for an unboxing and review. Picked this up from Costco. Oh, well look at this. It says it converts into a workbench as well. Two piece workbench. So you can do a, a shelf like that. Look at that cool workbench right there. Well, here's the dimensions on it. So 72 inches high, 48 inches long like if you're looking at it from the front and then the width that's 24 inches deep all right here's everything that came in the box so it came with five of these pieces the part that sits down in the shelf this here so you get five of those <clears throat> and then here's your pieces here for the sides the corners and there's eight of them got these smaller pieces too these kind of frame in each box in the shelf so this will be for the front and back pieces also came with some directions here's the pieces for the bottom the rubber pieces and then this here is to keep it from tipping over so it's got a piece of wire to it with a screw to go in the wall okay i'm gonna go ahead and actually do step one and two at the same time so we're gonna get four of these out okay here's for steps one and two so we got our four corner pieces there one two three four one flat piece for the front one for the back and then these are for the sides these two pieces here there's little stick outs or nodules those line up with these so you put them in the big hole and lock them in that way so of course the bottom is going to be this way this is going to be the top of the shelf because the weight of the shelf is going to sit on that lower over there so now if you were going to go put this one on this long part too is going to face towards the bottom. So you want it like this. So the short part's at the top. It's just an insert right there. And then you can pull them all the way down to lock them in. It actually takes a little bit of force. Even just with one hand, I can't snap it in squeezing it. So I just kind of lightly tap on that. I'd wait till. Uh, I got my shelf on there, or at least got this other piece, and then just kind of tap it. And you can see it's very tough. I'm squeezing this thing together this way as hard as I can. So you're just going to want to tap it, maybe with a little a little mallet. Want to get it in the in the uh, vertical position, but that's how that goes together. Okay, here's the other tip when you're putting these together. Let me go ahead and put this side on as well. So I'm going to go one up from the bottom. For these the bottom pieces so i'm actually starting to put the thing together now what i've done here's one side so i'm going to get these locked in like this in the in the flat position that way it's easier than trying to balance them and hold them all up so i'm going to do two sides just like this identical here's the other thing these bottom pieces these ones here with that flat piece are for the very bottom that's what's going to sit on the ground and the pieces like this this is to for the top here that way if you're going to use this for to stack another shelf on the other shelf will snap right into that piece so we'll be using this and i can go ahead and put these on right now too just kind of pop them in there there we go Okay, now I just took the two sides and connected them with this piece right down here. I had to kind of balance, had to kind of balance this side up and then hook that side and then grab this one that I already had together and hook it in right there. Now I'll just take and put this piece just like that right here. And it's going in there just the same exact way. And to tap on that with the mall mallet a little bit, you can see it needs to be banged down in there, down at the bottom of that hole. Okay, that was steps one through three. Now we're gonna go ahead and do four, five, and six. Okay, now I'll go ahead and take four of these and stack them on top here. So that's one option is to take them and stack them on there and build it like that or just build them side by side and then you can take 
the finished one and stack it on top of this one. And what I did is put this cross member at the intersection of the joint. That way these pieces don't readily fall off. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the piece going across this way. And same thing with the other side. I'm gonna do the same here. Put this one right at that seam. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and put these ones at the top here. Got the top ones on. Now it's just a matter of filling it all in. Really all we have is two more sides to go or two more shelves. So you could just leave it just like this if you wanted, but I'm gonna go ahead and put another shelf down here and then put another one right up here okay now we just need to put these pieces in okay i'm just starting at the bottom kind of line that up so it's flush i'm gonna do the same thing with the next 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 and then the top one So the easiest way I found to insert these is from the side like this. Just angle them up and then drop them down flat.